what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so i just got done seeing greta greta stars chloe grace moretz pretty sure everyone is familiar with her she's been in a lot of films uh during the early 2000s and recently she's just been in a lot of bigger roles she was like a very cute child actress at the time uh, when she first came up and then we have isabel hubert uh mika monroe those are like our three main characters in the movie so i'm only going to talk about them and then as far as like what type of movie and the genre this falls under i don't even have a clue as to what this was i'm gonna go ahead and just call it a thriller uh, the only reason i actually went to go see it was because i was intrigued by the trailer uh and i'm a big fan of what neil jordan has done in the past and i think him and chloe grace have worked before as well too uh, the standout in this movie is definitely uh, Isabel Huber, uh, she plays Greta, the main pro antagonist in the movie. She just absolutely takes this role and she just knocks it out of the park. She makes it like, she seems to be having the most fun in the movie as well. Because it, it seems like the script gave her the most to do. And then everyone else kind of just got leftovers. Not to say that that's one of the, not to say that that's a bad thing. But the movie is titled Greta, so it's nice to see that Greta actually gets screen time and she gets her fair share of things to do in the movie because chloe in all for all intents and purposes i would say that chloe grace and moret's character francis was the main character in this movie uh but greta just kind of just out outshines her because of uh, the performance that isabel hubert gives and i just feel like she was given a lot more to do like towards the end and uh once we reach like a certain point in the movie but anyway this is just like a modern movie about stalking basically it's just a modern take on stalking uh we have an elderly woman who has been going around town basically leaving this is shown in the trailer she's been leaving uh pocketbooks or just like uh, not pocketbooks whatever small bags on the bus uh hoping that someone will return them to them return them to her and then she goes ahead and has her own form of sick fun with them before ultimately disposing of them and moving on to the next person. Now, I'm not going to get into spoilers as to why she's doing this. Uh, the movie takes a very few clever twists and turns. It's a whole bunch of cliches are in this, in this movie. Uh, I would say that Chloe Grace Moretz, she did a fine job in it. Uh, everyone involved actually did a good job. I wanted, But Isabel Hubert, she absolutely killed the role. She was amazing as Greta. Uh, I've only seen a fair share of her other movies like when I was a kid and did just some other stuff recently. But she, as an actress, I've always thought that she was okay. Uh, never once thought that she was bad, but for me personally, I would say this is the best performance I've seen from her out of any of those movies, any of those other movies that I've seen. But basically what we have in this movie and what it's about is that Frances, who is played by Chloe Grace Moretz, she's new to the Manhattan area, which is where this film takes place in New York City. Uh, she's new to the Manhattan area. She's very naive. She wants to just... She's kind of like a goody two-shoes. She's from Boston. Uh, her friend, uh, Erica, who has been in town, I want to say for a few couple years, I think she just finished up graduate school in there. Uh, she's moved in with her to stay there. Uh, what ends up happening is, because Frank, Francis is so naive, she's nicknamed Frankie, man. because she's so naive, she ends up taking one of those pocketbooks back to Greta. Her and Greta form some type of bond because, uh, get, get into a little bit of spoilers here, uh, Frankie lost someone close to her uh, the year prior, so she kind of has like a bond with Greta, and that's kind of what Erica thinks the whole ordeal is. Erica is kind of like the audience in the scene. She tries to reason with Francis, tell her that Greta, this doesn't seem right. Something has to be wrong with Greta. Uh, and then, of course, Erica ends up being right because Francis finds those bags. She comes to the conclusion that Greta has been going around town doing this to other people, not just her. Uh, then the movie just takes a very sharp turn. It becomes more, the the tension builds. There's more suspense. Uh, this is well is this is where Isabel Huber starts knocking it out of the park. She becomes much more intimidating. Uh, she actually kind of gives you a little bit of fear as well because the way she's portraying this character, she's doing such a well job doing it, and she's actually invoking fear in the audience uh not to say that i was scared but like she's doing like such a good job in the world like you have to look at the movie to see what i'm talking about she was amazing it's just once she finds out about greta the movie just becomes very disturbing 
it's not necessarily some grand it's not something i would say you need to rush out to go to the theaters to see but this is a very entertaining movie uh definitely one of the better thrillers dramas uh any better than any thriller horror drama i've seen recently i want to say probably since get out not that it's as good as get out but I was really intrigued by this movie for some odd reason. I really want to say it, it was because of the performance that Isabel Hubert gave. Uh, because I feel like without Moretz and Hubert, this movie would have just been like run of the mill type of stuff. But this is like, I give it a solid 6 out of 10. I definitely recommend that anyone or everyone go see Greta. You do not need to rush to go see it in theaters. It was not that good. Uh, the cinematography is fine. The way it's directed is fine. There's a lot of unique angles done in the movie. The score that accompanies some of the scenes involving Isabel Huber when she's standing there uh, looking very terrifying and stalking this young woman. It's just very interesting to see and the music behind it just makes it all that more intimidating and I really appreciated that. Uh, but I'm gonna give Greta a six out of 10. If you guys have seen Greta, let me know what you guys think about it down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications. Uh, in the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts, on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know what movies and news or reviews you're liking to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.